here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 day in Moomin Valley. <laughs> Calm, but not too hot. So they've decided to have lunch outside. Come on, everyone. The pancakes are ready. Oh, hey. wow. <laughs> I just love pancakes. They're delicious. Thank you, Sniff. I'm glad you like them. They're all right, but a bit boring. Seems to me we have them all the time. Well, little Mai, it seems to me you're really enjoying them. I think they're ever so tasty. I didn't say they weren't good. You obviously weren't listening. All I said was it would be nice to have something different now and then. Right, Moom and Papa? Huh? Well, uh... Moom and Papa doesn't really want a lot of new and different foods anymore. He's had enough unusual food on all his travels. Like what, for instance? Like whole barbecued monsters. With lots of fungus jelly in their fangs. You didn't, Papa. No, I didn't. I never had anything quite like that. Tell us about some of the dishes you liked. Now, let me see. Yes, I did have something really special once. You did? What did it taste like? Well, it was the most wonderful dish I ever tasted. But, of course, it wasn't anything like as good as Moomin Mama's cooking. Oh, come on. What did it taste like? Do shut up, Sniff. But you're very interested in food, too. Come, come, children. That's enough about food. No! That's the wrong color for the sky! Oh, no, it isn't. Out if I like it. Oh, my goodness. Why are you both still up? What? But it's not very late. It's not? Oh, I thought it was. Are you all right? Is anything the matter, dear? Eh? Oh, no. Guess I was just thinking of something else. Don't forget to turn out the lamps when you go to bed. Yes, of course. Good night. Moomin Mama is worried about something. What do you mean, little Mai? Do you remember Moomin Papa said he had once eaten something better than anything else? What? I'm sure I didn't put it quite that way. Well, that's certainly the way it sounded. You were the one who started all of this. That's right, but nobody ever takes any notice of what I say. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What have I done? Well, where did I put it? Oh. I've seen it in here, I know. Oh. Uh. Hey, there it is. Oh. Oh. There, that's what I was looking for. 
I wonder what she's looking at. Hard to say. With Grandma's book of recipes and remedies, it has everything. Yes, but what could it be? I'm very much afraid that Moomin Mama is looking for something very special and very delicious. Something that she has never cooked for us before. That's what I think. Hmm. Here it is. What to do when you realize that your family has become bored with your cooking. Excellent. I think this was going to boil over. Oh, dear. Oh, good morning, Snufkin. Good morning, Moomin Mama. You're making a lot of food this morning. Is someone going on a trip, maybe? Yes, I'm going on a trip. You, Moomin Mama? Dear Moomin Papa, Moomin and Little Mai, I'm going on a special trip to look for a rare ingredient for making a very special dish. No. So I'll have to leave you for four or five days, but I've started preparing some dishes that you can finish cooking. So don't worry, you should be all right on your own. Warnings are still chilly, so please be careful. And if you catch a cold, remember to keep your neck and feet warm. There's one last jar of pumpkin jam on the top shelf. Oh, Snufkin? Don't come looking for me. I'll be fine. See you in a few days' time. Take care. I'll be thinking of you all. Love, Moomin Mama. Moomin Mama, I'll help you carry that. It looks much too heavy for you. No, no, I'm fine, Snufkin. You see, I have to do all this without my family. Well, I live in my tent, and I'm not really a member of the Moomin family. Yes, that's right. I suppose you aren't. So tell me, where are you going to so suddenly? I'll show you. I'm going to the southern side of the Lonely Mountain. There, I'm going to look for this secret valley no one knows about. That's where I'm off to. Let's get going. Are you ready, Moomin Mama? Yes. Snorpin! Have you heard the news? Moomin Mama's got away! Yes! We better get there quick! Ouch, it's hot! <laughs> oh, why does everything happen so quickly when you're cooking? I only turn my back for five minutes. <laughs> What's happened? Moom and Papa tried to heat up some food for us all. I made this pancake. It's all my own work. Yes, you did, and that's what it looks like, too. Bet you couldn't make a better one. I wouldn't even want to. There's no need to worry. There's lots of bread and raisins and maple syrup. That could keep me going for several weeks. Moomin, what about the soup? Mm -mm, afraid not. We've got no soup and no pancakes, but of course we can always have crackers and ketchup. What if she never comes back? What do we do? But of course she's coming back in just four or five days. She said so in her letter, didn't she? In four or five days? We can't have burned food every day for almost a whole week. Moomin Papa, we must go out and look for her. 
and bring her back immediately. No, we can't do that. Mom and Mama's gone away on a trip. Grandma's old book of remedies and recipes said she had to gather some rare ingredients. That could take a long time. Mom and Mama knows what she's doing. Don't worry about it, Moomin. I'll cook for you from tonight if you like. Will you really? Are you sure you can cook? Of course I can. I cook every day for my brother. That's wonderful. We'll stick together and we'll manage somehow. Oh. Smells good. I found some crab apples and mushrooms. And I see you've caught a fish, Snufkin. How would you like it cooked? Baked or steamed? You're the cook. You decide. <laughs> I bet no one in Moomin Valley is going to have as good a dinner tonight as I am. So you're walking off just like that, are you? I feel my sister has seen far too little of me recently. Also, you're facing great hardship and may want to deal with it alone. Goodbye, Sniff. Huh. What shall I do? Best not to intrude. I suppose I'd better leave as well. <laughs> Don't cry, Snort Maiden. We know you tried to do your very best. But it wasn't good enough. <laughs> Maybe it should have simmered a bit longer and the color is a bit odd. But it smells all right. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. Let's see. <laughs> I can see it's really oh. awful! <laughs> and Papa. Oh, it's fine. Just a bit salty. We'll add some water and it'll be delicious. Last twice as long, too. We'll have it tomorrow again. You're just saying that to make me feel better! <laughs> oh, Moom and Mama, please, please come back soon. Aren't those stars beautiful? I can hardly remember the last time I was out hiking. <laughs> I feel just like a Girl Scout again. Oh, this is very pleasant indeed. I thought you'd be missing Moomin House and all your family. Oh, no. One needs to sleep under an open, clear sky filled with stars now and again. I'll miss Moomin House tomorrow. Come on, Moomin. Time to wake up. Oh, oh, Papa. My son, our day has begun. This family is going to live up to your mother's standards while she's away. Come what may. What do you mean by standards? There's enough for me, too? Of course. When my sister cooks, she really cooks. You just come along with me, Sniff. Good morning, Moomin. Moomin Papa. Hello, everyone. Boy, that's a lot of washing. Did you two do all that? Yes, we did. And my hands are all wrinkled now. Listen, I think you should go inside and dry yourself before you catch a cold. Uh, first we have to dry the house out because that's all wet, too. Oh! What is it? Oh, it's nothing. I'm fine. Has Mom and Mama really been doing all this work on her own? And we haven't finished. We must clean the house and the windows. Then make the lunch and after that some sewing. What? Oh, uh, dear. What now? Oh, just my back. I certainly had no idea housework is such hard work. Maybe we could eat tin food off paper plates for a while. I think we're lost. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. There's no way out of here. What does Grandma's book say? Well, right here, Grandma says that this is the place, Snufkin. Could you cut me some reeds, please? Of course. What are you going to do with all these reeds, Moom and Mama? <laughs> You'll just have to wait and see. They're beautiful. But what are you going to put inside them, Moom and Mama? What do you think? 
Us, of course, Snufkin. Us? Goodness! Moom and Mama, are you really serious? No need to worry. Grandma says we must do it this way. Come on, Snufkin. Or would you rather stay behind? Oh, no, I'm coming. Can't let you go alone. I'm right with you. All right, shall we get aboard? Ready, set, go. This is great fun, isn't it? We'll always be all right if we follow Grandma's instructions. Well, what does Grandma's book of recipes say we ought to do now? Mm, there's nothing about right now. Hey, what's that noise? What? Can't you hear it? Listen! A waterfall! Oh! Moom and Mama, wake oh. up! How beautiful! So this is it, the secret valley you were looking for. Yes, it must be. Oh, look at these! These lovely cherries look as if they could make a delicious cherry pie. What do you think, Snufkin? I guess so, but surely they're just ordinary cherries. You were looking for some special rare ingredient, weren't you? That's true, but you see, it doesn't matter what we pick as long as it's from this valley. That's what's special about it. Come, let's start picking and then we'll go home. So it doesn't matter what we pick. Now, Snufkin. Oops, sorry, Moom and Mama. Uh I think we've picked enough now. But I'm worried. How can we go back up the stream? We certainly can't climb that cliff. Let's consult the book. Here it is. When you've finished collecting the special ingredients, to get back to Moomin Valley, you just follow the river. Huh? But won't that take us even further away from Moomin Valley? Grandma didn't think so, Snufkin. Where are we? On the open sea. This is a bit bewildering. Ah, look, there. Why, our bathing cabin. Goodness, we're practically home already. I don't understand this. If we were this close to the Secret Valley all the time, why on earth didn't we go this way in the first place? I think one has to spend several days getting there or the secret power of the cherries won't work properly. Secret power? Yes. Now that we know where we are, let's start paddling and we'll be home in no time at all. Mm. How's that? Mm, yes, it's almost like a proper pancake. Thank goodness. I was starting to get a bit tired of jam and pickles every day for every meal. Uh, uh, uh. Keep going, little Mai. You still have lots of panes to clean. And don't I know it, Moomin. I never clean my own window panes. I'm just not used to this kind of work. Just shut up, Sniff, and keep on polishing. I am, but they're dangerous if they're too clean for birds and stuff. Mama's been away for four days now. 
She said you'd be gone for four or five days. Huh? Papa! Snork Maiden, come quickly! What is it, Moomin? Look! Let me carry this for you, Mama. No, no, I'll take it. No, let me. Thank you. That's so kind of you. And so Moomin Mama's private expedition was over. She made huge pies from all the cherries she and Snufkin had picked and brought home, plus many other delicious dishes. This is delicious. These are fabulous cherries, Mama. Aren't they good? It was really worth going all that way to get them for you. Mom and Papa learned how to make pancakes while you were away. Did you really, dear? Well, yes. Not anything like as good as your pancakes, of course. Mm. Ah. That's ah. enough. There's plenty of food for everyone. But I'm specially fond of this dish. Me too. What? That's the very dish you said was so boring a few days ago. I did? No. <laughs> well, I don't find it boring anymore. Moom and Mama had enjoyed herself. Little Mai loved pancakes again. And Moomin Papa had almost learned how to make them, so it had been a worthwhile trip. <laughs>